Yes, this news breaking only in the last half an hour or so. Hunter Biden is the brother of Beau Biden, and they are the sons of President Joe Biden from his first marriage. Now, Hunter Biden has just been found guilty, as you say, on all three counts against him. They're federal counts, basically the illegal possession of a firearm. And the story goes like this. Between 2015 and 2019, Hunter Biden was a very, very serious drug addict. Addicted, in fact, to one of the worst drugs that you can be addicted to, crack cocaine. The problem is for him, he in 2018, towards the end of his addiction, decided to buy a gun. And I think, don't quote me on this, I think he bought it in upstate New York, actually. And when he bought it, he only held, held the gun for 11 days, by the way, but when he bought it, they gave him a form and he had to fill the form in. And there was a question on there that said, are you addicted to drugs or are you in any way using drugs? And he ticked the no box. Well, that's the problem from Hunter Biden's perspective. That's the crime right there. That is the federal crime. He lied because the feds say he was addicted to drugs at the time. So it's a box-ticking exercise, and he's been caught out by it. Now, his defense said, look, this is not fair. He was already in rehabilitation. The reason he ticked the box is because he didn't believe at the time he was a drug addict, because although he had been, he didn't think he was anymore because he'd been through the rehabilitation process. So that's why he ticks the box. The jury did not believe the defense. They chose to believe the prosecution. And the prosecution argument was that we don't actually have any emails or texts linking Hunter Biden to illicit drugs on the day of the purchase of the gun or the day before or the day after. But they did have evidence from what you would call the, the time frame of the crime. So they had evidence before he bought the gun and about two weeks after he bought the gun. And one of them was what I suspect tipped the jury in favor of a prosecution because it was a friend texting Hunter Biden and just two weeks after purchasing the gun, the friend said, where are you and how are you? And he answered, I'm lying on top of a car, half asleep, smoking crack cocaine. And so there, now we have the son of the president convicted of three felonies. What happens next is the judge will have to decide what the sentencing will be. There's no date, as far as I know, there wasn't a few moments ago when I came on the floor, no date for sentencing, but there will be a sentencing, obviously. And the judges tend to be quite kind in these cases, particularly if the defendant has been... Uh, you know, well behaved as it were, and I believe Hunter Biden has been off drugs for a while. So he might get jail time. There's a, a potential for a lot of jail time. He might get probation. He might get a fine. We'll just have to wait and see. And of course, although the two cases are different, they are very political here. It reminds us that former President Trump, his sentencing for being found guilty on 34 cases in the hush money trial in New York two weeks ago, his sentencing is July the 11th, and the same process will apply. The judge there will decide either to give him jail time, which will bring a lot of issues for every body if he does that, or probation, or community service, or a fine. Guys?